You know the whole boy, man, son, boy, dad, dad, boy, son, son kind of way. <laughs> yeah, it's dad. Ever meet his dad? No, thank you, God. Asshole. His mom. Wife of an asshole. She tries, but, well, what can she do? He drinks, right? Drinks, messes around, spends a lot of time with his buddies, but mostly he drinks. Bobby never drank. There was that about him. Yeah, there was. I mean, he couldn't anyway because of his condition. Yeah, that's pretty pathetic he used drinking as an excuse for messing around. He knew you knew that he couldn't drink. He was desperate. You know, at first I thought that maybe being desperate was a good thing because maybe being desperate meant that he wanted to keep me. Wrong again, it's just the way he is, desperate. But desperate for what? What does he want? He's got to want something. What is it? Maybe, after all he's been through, he just wants to go home and stick his head in a vice, you know? Get some guy in his tribe to tighten it for him. We were pretty hard on him, I guess. You really think so? I don't know, maybe. You weren't hard on him. You were just trying to get to the bottom of something. But I was hard on him. That's only because I hate all men. <laughs> Come on. No, seriously, do you? I'd understand if you did. Well, sometimes. Well, like, other times, you can be with one and it actually seems okay. I mean, it's just some guy, some ordinary guy, right? And he treats me like a human being. And he seems like one himself. So, I think this is good. This is all we need, right? I mean, to like each other. So I think, fine, okay. I like this guy. <laughs> sort of. A lot. But he doesn't want to hurt me or maim me or anything, right? I mean, so, I guess, few of them I like. This doesn't happen often. There's only a few that I like. Two, actually. <laughs> but I'm still young. I can't see myself being with anyone for a long time. Talking or anything, being close to any guy. It's all out of the question, because I'm... You know? You're pregnant. Really? Yeah. Pregnant with Bobby's child. Like he's gone. So I'm... Um, You're not alone. God, I'm young. I mean, really, think about how young I am. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Do you mean you're scared? I'm not giving up this baby. No way am I giving up this baby. I know that. I mean, not even a little. My mom's not going to raise it or anything. I mean, she can help. But I'm the mother. She's the grandmother. There's not going to be any confusion over that. Not like Grace, what's her name? Grace Gallagher? Yeah. Her mom's raising that kid. Her mom's the mom, really. Grace just does the same stuff she did before. She goes out to bar. She hangs out with friends just like nothing happens. What kind of crap is that? That's bullshit. Don't you think that's bullshit? I don't know what their circumstances are. You know, knowing Grace, it's probably better for her kid anyway. I'm not going to do it that way. You're not Grace Gallagher. No way am I like Grace Gallagher. Not even a little. Not one stinking piece of my brain is like Grace Gallagher. <laughs> you ever hear anyone say they're the same? you got to straighten them out, okay? I will. <laughs> Jesus. The only thing that's the same between us is... What? Well, who's the father of Grace's kid? Beats me. Exactly, that's my point. The father thing for my kid is going to be the same as it is for Grace Gallagher. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Except that it gives me something in common with her and she's a total <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so it changes things. Makes things a little harder, probably. A lot harder. So you're really giving up on him, Bobby? Yeah. Well, I mean, what's the point? I mean, I've got to be real about this thing. It's my life. I've got to get it off on the right foot. There can't be any confusion over this. If you look around this world we live in, all you see are confused people fucking up, and they're fucking up because they're confused about where they stand, confused about 
Now, you know what? Just confused about everything, really. So you can't have the basic stuff like who wants each other and who wants this kid just floating around in the air. That's bullshit. Well, yeah, but I think, you know, he just might go away and think about it for a while. He'll miss me, I know. He'll come sniffing around. He'll make it hard and confusing, and I'm just going to have to convince him to leave me alone. My mom went through the same thing with my dad. My dad sniffed around for a long time. And she waited for us to come together as a family until I was about five or six. She tried. Maybe he even tried to, but it finally just fucked up. I'm not going down that road. I gave Bobby his chance. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but... Okay, maybe not. I'm just thinking about, you know, guys our age. But maybe this isn't the right time, I mean. No, come on, let's hear it. Okay, you're never gonna find a guy your age who's got as much figured out as you do. Well, maybe there's a few, but I mean. Not Bobby. Fucking A, not Bobby! Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna try to be honest here. Forget my personal feelings about him. <laughs> but I can't stand the little prick. I mean, I love kicking him, I really did. <laughs> just considering all the possibilities here, we have to look down the road, I mean. You're gonna be alone with this baby, and you still have these feelings for Bobby. So maybe you just have to find some way to make him understand that he. No, was. I told you I can't do that. It's gotta be up to him, and it's gotta be clear. Yeah, but okay. The thing about most guys is that it's true you've gotta kick them when they're acting like a crazy dog. But maybe after kicking them, you just have to, you know, give their little adolescent brain some time to think about it and say, Hey. I've just been kicked like a crazy dog. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> okay, that's hard. <laughs> okay, that sounds hard. I mean, shit, why don't they just get it? I mean, why are we made to feel so bad just for trying to make them act like basic human fucking beings? Sometimes I feel like they just want to suck my brains out time you naked to the nearest tree and fuck me to death because you know that's all I'm here for, right? That's my purpose in life, to give them pleasure, even if it kills me. <laughs> okay. Okay, I got that out of my system. <laughs> what I'm saying is that maybe they just need some time and instruction, you know? Time and instruction between those dangerous, stupid years between 14 and like 26. <laughs> maybe it's that simple. Maybe we have to help them. Maybe that's our purpose in life. Okay, well, not all of it. Not all of it by long shot, but part of it. <laughs> so? I've got a kid due in about eight months. If you want to become some sort of tutor for Bobby, that's up to you. Well, I'm thinking more like conditioning, you know? Lock him in a room, show him a thousand pictures of people not getting to do what they want to do. Nobody gets to do what they want to do, just what they have to do, no, like an adult. <laughs> I think adult love is better. Okay, it's not. It's not pure anything. It's mixed in with a lot of other things like responsibility or guilt even. But it's got a chance of lasting. So? If you want to work on Bobby a little more, turn him into an adult human being. Why not? It might be fun. No, he's got to do it on his own for his own reasons. He really, he does. I've got to eat something. Okay, what? I don't know anything. Are you getting sick yet? You know, like in the mornings? I don't even want to think about that yet. It comes later anyway. Got any money? You're the one with the job. I'm the starving student. But I'm a single mother-to-be. I'm headed for a life of despair and shiftiness. Oh, <laughs> my dead body. 